Which version of Melodyne should you get? Well, there are four versions of Melodyne and I'm gonna walk you through the differences of all of them in this video. What's up everyone? You're watching Roy Thompson Audio. So the first version of Melodyne is Melodyne Essential. Melodyne Essential is only 99 bucks. It only comes with the main tool, which allows you to change the pitch center of a note, change the timing of a note, and separate it in half. And that is enough to get you up and running, not enough for very precise editing, but it is the most affordable version of Melodyne. Next, we have Melodyne Assistant at 249 bucks. Melodyne Assistant includes all of the main editing tools, the pitch vibrato or modulation tool, pitch drift, the format tool for format shifting, the amplitude tool, you can actually change the volume of notes, and a standalone timing tool, and a standalone note separation tool. You can have a little bit more freedom in your workflow in Melodyne Assistant having all these separate tools. Melodyne Assistant can also turn audio into MIDI, and that's awesome if you're trying to hum a melody and turn that into MIDI for a synthesizer or a bass line. The biggest thing Melodyne Assistant lacks is polyphonic editing editing, so you can't correct pitch for pianos or guitars or strings, anything that has multiple voices going on at once. But again, I think it's a great bang for buck. You get a lot of extra features without having to break the bank. Okay, that brings us to our third version of Melodyne, Melodyne Editor. This comes in at 499 bucks. This is definitely a better version of Melodyne Assistant but it really doesn't add a ton for double the price. The biggest things it adds are the ability to edit polyphonic material, again, like pianos or guitars. It also adds the ability to edit scales or create your own scales and also detect or extract scales from audio. So the upgrade price is a little steep for editor, but you do get the ability to edit polyphonic material. If you don't need to edit polyphonic material, I would stick with Melodyne Assistant. And that brings us to the fourth and final version of Melodyne, Melodyne Studio. This comes in at a whopping 849 bucks, and this is the most powerful version of Melodyne. Studio adds the ability to edit and view multiple tracks at once, so you don't have to open up the background vocal, close it, go back to the main vocal. You can edit multiple tracks in one window, which is super, super handy. Studio also adds the sound editor, which allows for a lot more tone shaping and timbre shaping capabilities. And it also adds quantize to reference, where you can actually take the timing of one track and apply that to another. If you're working on a really dense vocal track with mains and doubles and harmonies and second part harmonies, third part harmonies, you might wanna think about upgrading to Melodyne Studio so you can edit all of those in one window and have that time quantizing ability from track to track. Studio is 350 bucks more than Editor, so again, it's a big upgrade. Now, as of recording this, all of the upgrades or cross grades from different versions only make you pay the difference in price. So if you start off with Melodyne Essential and then you wanna upgrade to Assistant and then Editor, you just pay the price difference as you go. So there's absolutely no risk in starting with the lowest version. And of course, there's a 30 day free trial for all of these versions. So test it out and see if you like it. If you wanna get up and running with Melodyne quickly, check out my free course, Auto-Tune and Melodyne Quick Start. The links are in the description of this video. It covers how to use all the main tools for both Auto-Tune and Melodyne, and a ton of tips and tricks as well. And it's free, so check that out in the description. My name is Roy, thank you for watching, and happy tuning.